The Patriots sent a second round pick to Atlanta for Mohamed Sanu. Dan Graziano, take us through how this happened and it's, this is a, a deal they've been trying to make for some time. They were talking to Atlanta about Sanu around the draft. At that time, Atlanta was telling teams, no, we expect we're going to be a contender this year. They're obviously terribly wrong about that. So obviously now they're, they're looking to make deals. But the Patriots have been on receivers all summer and all fall. Antonio Brown was on the team very briefly. That didn't work out. So they have been poking around on Emmanuel Sanders and other guys that have been available. But Sanu makes a lot of sense. Second round pick is no small price. But the Patriots are looking to beef up the offense. We talk about who have they beaten, right? How do we measure the Patriots? The Patriots look at it the same way. They're trying to build themselves a team for January. They're not going to get high on their own success. So they know where they're deficient and where they still Listen, need work. Let's just be on. as direct as we can be here. The New England Patriots have a real chance to make a run at unbeaten. This is an extraordinary acquisition. If they are not beset by a variety of injury, they're going to be favored in every game they play the rest of the season. I don't care who we're talking about. Sanu is exactly what this team didn't have, and you and I were talking earlier before the show, they're just always a step ahead. And look, Mohamed Sanu, first of all, is the epitome of the Patriot way. A very under-the-radar, really good player, reliable. Go Bill Parcells used to tell me all the time, which is the same Belichick coaching tree, I would rather take a guy to the game where I know what I'm getting. He may not be a superstar. He may not be a pro bowl or all pro. But if I put you at the three technique, I know I need to know you're going to stay in the B gap and hold the B gap down. So Sanu is going to do that for the New England Patriots. And Belichick is the GM as well. They, they are just so far ahead of everybody on these type of moves. This team right now is going to become unstoppable. And it's because of this addition with Sanu. And this is why, one, they can play big with Sanu. Nikhil Harry's coming back and Josh Gordon, and they can play small with the running backs. And then Sanu's one of the better on the perimeter blocking receivers in the yes. NFL. What do the Patriots love to run? Screens. Screens. <laughs> now you can have a big guy out there dominating DBs. This is like when you already have like seven spades in your hand uh. and then you get the joker. Wow. And it's like, yo, <laughs> what the hell am I supposed to do with that? We all trying to compete. The game yeah. is called spades and you got all the spades. Exactly. That's what Bill Belichick is operating like. How many bucks like. you going to make? Oh, I'm, this is a Boston. I'm getting all 13 <laughs> of them. When we start talking about the move, here's the thing that people forget. Bill Belichick is the GM for this football team as well. Mm -hmm. So not only do you have a guy that's in-game evaluating what they need to be as a football team. Every single day, he's looking at talent, deficiency, and saying, this is what we need to do in order to win a Super Bowl. Bill Belichick doesn't think on levels of winning his division. He doesn't think on levels of being in certain rounds of the playoffs. Right. Every move is structured to make it to the Super Bowl. Muhammad Sanu is the piece they needed now, to get to the Super Bowl. Remember when we had Tom Brady's da dad on the show yeah, last year? Sure. You asked him, like, hey, how far in advance do you guys think about Super Bowl plans and booking your flights? And he gave the politically correct <laughs> answer. What? Right, right. He was on Expedia last night, like, <laughs> or this morning after this trade, like, yeah, we're going. Where's it at? Miami this year? <laughs> he booked his trip. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports, highlights, and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.